the truth weighs five pounds, six ounces. My name is Jacqueline D. Mime, your host. We have a very special show today. Stay tuned. Hello. Our first guest today is Dr. Michelle Lover, who just wrote a book on the subject of not eating. It's called Anorexia, God or Devil? Obviously, it's a God. Well, today we're going to talk about the effects of not eating. I say... The first effect is that you make friends. Then you feel better about yourself. And then you lose weight. Thoughts, Lover? Uh, now, Jackie, when you say make friends, you mean friends with el diables, as they like to say espanol. Um, the devil, right? You, you make devilish friends? Yeah, I don't know who this devil person is, but you see... Well, I quote him in my book... Um, saying, okay. he says, Muka persona se siente aspela o confulados. That means that okay. the mucus, that means that the mucus that you build up when you don't eat um, becomes the devil inside you and you feel it. Oh, I see. Well, that's all very interesting. I haven't read a book in 10 years, but I'm sure it's good. Anyway, here are my steps of becoming a perfect person. You have to be able to okay. see your bones, as Dr. Michelle Lauer talks about. It's a good thing to see your bones, okay? Healthy, healthy, S healthy bones. Step one, eliminate all food. Step two. Negative bad food. All of it. You want to eliminate all of it. You want to be perfect? <laughs> be like me. Eliminate all food. Step two, if you do eat... Throw it up immediately. Step three. Lie. To everyone. Jackie? Mm -hmm. I, I thought I thought I thought you brought me on the show um to talk about how anorexia is it's not a god. It's a well, everybody the has their beliefs. We're going to go to commercial but right I, now. Believe, Thank you, Dr. Beliefs, Michelle Lover, for your time. I don't. Everybody you buy eat, her book. Eat. Buy eat, her book. It's, it's the devil. Don't eat. Devil. Okay. This book is called Anorexia. Do it. Do Today, I'm going to bring on another guest. His name is Tommy Mayhall. Everybody at home, give it's a quick so clap. Hello, everybody. Hi, Tommy. Hi. What's your name? Jacqueline. Yay, we're back! We're back with our guest, Tommy. Tommy has an opposing viewpoint to what I think about bone structure. Yeah, how does it feel to not be able to see your feet? Um, I like it. Um, okay. my wife is really warming up my condition, and she loves me. Oh, you have a wife, do you? Yes, I do. In Hollywood, you can't have a wife unless you can see your bones. I eat what everyone's supposed to eat. Okay, well, we're going to get his opinion. Tommy? Yes. He eats more than most people should. Or more than I would. Well, then, Jackie, why aren't you married? Well, we're going to go to commercial. And when we get back, America decides which lifestyle is better. Mine or Tommy's? Call in and vote. <laughs> and welcome back, everybody. Do you have a nice break? Voting, I hope. We have the results in right here. I'm going to read them off. You guys voted during the break and decided which one was better. My lifestyle or Tommy's? Here we go. 98% of you said that Tommy's... Ninety-eight percent of you said that. T Fuck the polls. You know I've been there twice. We won. We and won. I didn't like it, so you know um. Everybody. 
you know, he's a fatty. I don't understand what the appeal is, but, um, you know what? We're going to go on a break, and when we get back, Tommy's not going to be on my show anymore. Don't hit me. Okay? We're going to have somebody else on. Oh, stay tuned. Share, as in Sunny and Share, as in Share Share, is going to be on the show. Stay tuned. Welcome back to The Truth Weighs 5 Pounds, 6 Ounces. My third and final guest of today is Cher. Cher, take it away. How do you feel about being perfect, not eating any food with substance, just eating air, and making friends that way? <laughs> well, first of all, hello to all my kiddies out there! Hi, kitties. Hello to you, Jackie. I don't, I don't know if you remember this, but back in 64, do you remember that? No. You, me, and James Dean, we were, we were with Kelly and Jean and Adam and Polly and, of course, my late husband, Sonny. Oh, Sonny was there. I remember that. Oh, what? Anyways... We all smoked crack. <laughs> no, we're not supposed to say that on this show, but if you want to oh. lose weight fast, that's how. Anyways, okay, don't I... censor me. <laughs> First Amendment. I know my stuff. What was the question? Uh, how do you feel about not eating? You know, when, when you're on tour mm -hmm. and you need to eat something because you know you just keep singing. Oh, kitty. That was beautiful, Sam. Thank like you. It's really on my something. new album called Scotch. I like it so far. Anyways, when you need to eat, I just, I think of you, Jacket. And I think you of do. how... Not eating will bring in the cheekbones. Mm. And I'm all about cheekbones because my name's Sherilyn. That's right, Sherilyn. Yes. Now, have you read Dr. Michelle Fleckface's book, something about Jesus not eating? You, you mean Michelle Labors? No, no, I don't. Uh, yeah, lovers, you know, the, the one entitled Agnorexism, Lizard God of the Demon. No, don't think so. I mean, it's close to that, but no, but she was on my show just a little bit ago saying that bone structure was Are you listen to her? I guess not. Don't listen to her. She has a deep, dark secret. That's right. Now, what is it? Fans... Don't listen to Michelle Lover. Don't listen to Michelle. She has a penis. <laughs> Something sunny out of the way of the troll. Oh. Well, how about that? Levi's is a man. Jesus doesn't eat. And we are out of time. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in today. And thanks to my three guests. One of whom's gender is a little questionable. Mm. Mm -hmm. Two of them. Thank you and have a oh, wonderful day. Remember, hey. don't. 